you have to be honest with yourself and keep your ears open and listen to yourself and listen to everybody and anybody that has something to say. When I used to practice, right? I used to, you know, record myself all the time because sometimes, you know, when you play, if you, if you constantly listen to yourself, you think you're killing it. And then you go back and listen to the tape, you found out you were like a quarter enough rest. You sounded horrible. Um, and even when I would record myself when I'm playing with the band, because sometimes I feel like I nailed it, and then when I listen back to the thing, I didn't nail it. Um, so the important thing for me was like, or, or I would sit and you know practice and, and just try to be true to myself, be honest with myself. When I know at, at this point, I know what things sound like when they when it's when it works or when it you played it accurately or precisely. And you honest with yourself that when you hear that you know you didn't nail it and you know you got to correct it. So I would sit and practice on on things, uh, uh, you know, like rudiments or or feel or a funk groove or whatever, you know, or, you know, time modulations, modulations, beat modulations. You work those things out and you know, you're in, and playing them slowly, of course. It's very important to play things slow when you're first learning things because there's such thing as, as uh, uh, muscle. muscle memory. You know, that's very true, you know, so you know what you when you practice it slow, you know what it feels like slow. So when you build it up, uh, you know what it feels like when you plan it wrong. And then you work at that tempo where it fails or where it don't feel natural. And then once you nail that, then you go to, you know, faster tempos. Um, but you, you have to be honest with yourself and keep your ears open and listen to yourself and listen to everybody and anybody that has something to say on a instrument. I don't care if you're a drummer, don't just sit there and listen to drums. You listen to bass players, you listen to guitar players, you listen to saxophone players, right? I get a lot of inspiration when I listen to guitar players. Holsworth is one of them. When I listen to saxophone players, I, I don't play with a lot of great saxophone players. So I mean, I, I, I listen to, you know, like Michael Brecker, but I also listen to John Coltrane. And, you know, when I listen to somebody like Charlie Parker, I get ideas. Because the 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 you know what a horn player that they they think in melodic, and they hear the lines I'm hearing rhythm. And when I hear rhythm, I relate that to the drums. 